Okay, first thing you want to do is remove your windshield wiper arm with a 15 millimeter socket. So just there's the washer. Remove that. So get that out of the way. Remove the other one. And then you can focus on getting these little screws. You have to pop the hood to get the, the ones underneath. If you're having a hard time getting that windshield wiper arm off, just get you a, um, a chisel, put it underneath there, a mallet, and go like that. Okay, next with a screwdriver, or just your fingers, remove that bolt, screw, that one, that one, and finally, that one. Now you're going to want to prop the hood. Here's what those bolts look like. Those screws, I mean. That's what those screws look like. So now it's time to prop the hood. Okay, working from inside, you'll need to remove that bolt. It's already removed. That bolt, it's already removed. And then I need to remo remove that one right there. And that one, and that one. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and this piece of rubber plastic, remove it, get it out of the way. Now you're good to go. Okay, just fumble around with these over here. Just fumble around with them, pull them up and out of the um, windshield wiper arms. So that's that side, and then that's that side. Make sure they don't, you know, go across your battery terminals, but they're plastic, so I mean, they won't do anything. They're not conductive, so let's check this. Okay, let's check this out. Check out the toilet seat. All right. Over here, as you, well, let's, let's work our way over. So we got some various wires down here, and then you got this cool part right there. Keep on going. Then we got the uh, the cabin air filter, which it's got some spider webs on it. So yeah, so it's really cool down here. So if you want, clean up this area, clean it up, and let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Looking at this contraption, I would say I got to remove that bolt. And then probably this bolt over here. If I can get it in view, it's on the right of that gold part. And I believe there's a third bolt right in the middle. Right, right there. So let's get to it. Let's do. Oh, there's some part numbers. All right, let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's remove that. Okay, eight millimeter on that one, and I believe the rest are eight millimeter too. So let's get to it. Let's do it. Eight millimeter. Okay, when you're removing this middle section, you turn it counterclockwise, this whole apparatus will want to move with it. I kept moving counterclockwise until the um, socket got stuck down in there to where it wouldn't move anymore. And I can just keep loosening it and I end up loosening that bolt off and it was good. Alright, it was just like that. The socket was on like that and those bars were, weren't able to move anymore so I was able to torque that off. And then we got two more bolts to get off. They are hidden. One right there, and one right there. So let's get to it. Let's okay, take all those bolts off. That's what they look like. And let's go over here. Okay, let's go over here. And it's time to take the whole apparatus. All right. Let's pull that right out of there. Just like so. Oh, there's still something stuck. There's a wire. Big old wire. There's a wire on the bottom. Okay, there's a big giant wire harness right there. So just grab it from below, below, and pull that snap. Pull that snap and go. And pull that out just like so. Then you can remove this whole apparatus. Now let's, let's let's look. Okay, here's the workbench. So we got the whole thing, whole kit and caboodle here. Let's look at it. Look at the bottom of it. That's cool. 
Look at that. Isn't that ni nasty? There's where the electrical plug-in goes in right there. All right, let's get the shot. Let's get it. Let me get it. Thumbs up. All right, thumbs up. All right, we got the shot now. That's what that looks like. Isn't that cool? So these arms go back and forth. Whenever this is, oh, whenever this is actuated, these arms go back and forth here. So if you put that screw in there and you tighten it down, these arms will go back and forth. And it's amazing because it's ran by a motor. And it's just, it's just all around cool. Look at this. Look at this beast. So plug these numbers in. Let's see. All right. Okay, so that is the windshield wiper mechanism. This whole apparatus. So. Okay, it's also got the windshield wiper motor right here. I'll take that off and put it on back on put it back on in, in another video. But here's how you I already removed this big old windshield washer mechanism. It's time to install it. Installation installation is reversal or removal. The only difference is whenever it comes time to put on the bolt for here. I'm going to have to torque it to where these linkages are back to the origi their original configuration. So, so I'm going to put this back in there. I'm going to clamp that back up and bolt it back on. Okay, so get that, get that in there and then connect your electrical linkage up, electrical part down there, down in there. It was hard to film so I didn't. So connect that up and then put these bolts in in all their places the one two three four five places they go and once you get that done put your covers back on and I'm just gonna run right through this because I want to take off the motor for another video so put that back on and then put your uh, windshield wiper arms back on so put these back on and since we disconnected that electrical wire disconnect your battery in the beginning before you do all this and then now at the end you connect the battery back up so I'm gonna have to put that in the beginning anyway so get it all the hook back up and you are good to go this has been another Matt Human Pizza video thank you